so we're going to run through this now. We're going to start at this part. Completed quest total 26, 27, 1. Hot. Okay, we're going to roll it up there. We're going to show that we're going to start it. Okay. He's going to show us a bunch of stuff that we don't need on there. We're going to press that. Okay, and then that's going to go away. We're going to show what we have in the inventory. My AP, and I am a life skiller, so that is a really high AP for me. Um, going to show the pets I'm using, we're going to show the skills I've got, not quite all the way there, but pretty close, I am using succession, like I said, I'm a life skiller, so this is what I have set up, really not going to make a damn bit of difference on this thing, okay, so I'm trying to get a little bit comfortable here. Estimated time, three and a half hours to run through this. Should be Try it, see what it says. Okay, so I can hear it. Ah, it's all right. So we'll turn that back down. And without any further bullshit, um, I'll, I do have other quests that I'm running here on this character. Um, they are unchecked, but. They don't disappear from here. So, it is what it is. So, we're going to start this thing. Yeah, we need to make sure that the volume on this side is turned down. Oh, I didn't show this. Um, my information. I have a lot of things I've done on this character. I've used this character for 208 days, 12 hours, and 33 minutes. So, and I also have this leveled up quite a bit. Uh, movement speed isn't so hot, but those two are okay. And I didn't show this. We're going to go into this. We're only going to run that. We're not going to run any other buffs because it's simply not worth it. We're gonna click that on, let her run, and with that, Turn my volume inside here down just a little bit. Okay, while we're here, I noticed something on this thing. We have 
some junk crap that we need to get rid of here from the looks of it. Yeah. It's been a long, long, long time since I used Dark Knight for any sort of questing. Um, as you saw in my information, she is a guru in fishing. And that is mainly what she does, nothing else. So here we have a bunch of quests that are going to keep popping up throughout this whole storyline. And there's no way to shut them off, okay? There's no way to shut these off. Even if you go into here and you close everything off, okay, this stuff still shows up. So for the new player, you've got all of this crap that's here for nothing. Okay, he, he may not see all of that if it's a brand new player, but still, you got all of this crap that you don't need here. You truly don't need it for the new player experience. So I'm going to go back on and I'm going to turn these back on because we're going to do some of these. Okay, um, all right, so we're off and running. Back up the view a little bit here. Okay, so I have to be careful here. Remember, however, hot doing so we nip and lock killing two. We'll be no. did what it's since you pray. Stay a while. Now, the more those of us who would, it is possible that she's still a good cause. Here, the young one. The six witches that bloomed from Labresca's demise protected us from fearsome dragons and their fire. However, as flowers must wilt and fade, the witches sought a warrior of winter before they too would need retire. Oh, war... Okay, so is it going to stay on and let me play or not? Let's see. There we go. Okay. So we're going to click through these guys. And then we're off and running again. Okay, my first major bitch. You get to this character, and you click on it, and guess what you get? Useless quests. How is a new player supposed to know that you have to click this to find out the stuff here? There's nothing that says it. It just brings you into quests. Okay, and then you click through all of this garbage. Okay, and you finally see there's still nothing there. 
So now you've got to go in there. And yeah, I told you you got to look at these things, but still. You know, let's get serious, guys. This is a new player experience. And you expect them to know this shit? Okay, so we're going to go into this. And now you're going to finally find the black spirit symbol showing you the quest line. Okay, and then you're off and running again. another cutscene that I actually can't skip. Oh, they so won't be able come. to skip these, but a new player like doing it for the first now. time, but that's okay. Well, I We're going to skip it anyways. Because we really don't want to see the quest. Great. Okay, so Can he's going to give us a reward, and Black Spirit's going to pop up, and hopefully we've accepted the quest. To check it, we actually have to go in here and scroll all the way to the bottom to see that we accepted the quest. So a new player is going to know how to do that. Not. And I'm going to lose my voice before I get through this. But this is my official bitch session. <coughs> and just for anybody who's watching this, so they know, I'm going to try and do almost every quest in side quest during this storyline so it's about 240 245 quests we'll be doing uh, total which is more than a hundred above what's shown on the quests uh, here it shows 142 to start with we will actually be doing about 240, 245 quests total. We will not be doing the fishing quests. Um, even though there's other side quests behind some of the fishing quests, uh, we're not going to do them because it could take hours to catch the specific fish that you need to catch like they said they were going to change all of these to green grade blue grade and yellow grade fish they did not do it during this quest line they did not do it do it during the fishing quest line you see there's specific fish that i have to get i have to go to a specific area i have to catch a specific fish and i have to take that specific fish to that specific person so, so much for what they said in their update. Now, I did that. Now, completion target is that dude way over there. Guess what? New players are going to bypass all of this stuff because they don't know what it is. But... A veteran player will pick it up and he will start doing these quests. Concerning, concerning some of the... Okay. And you see the quest. By the way, that Rupees Travel to Port Rap, the quest indicator there, is slow. I see you so, so sometimes you will you complete a quest you do know and pass. it will pass. take several seconds before it shows up. See? With so many cops waiting for checkpoint inspections, waiting for check. Now, would a new player want to do these quests? Let me rephrase that. Why would a new player not want to do these quests? Oh, and my other bitch is, we used to have this really small, tiny little thing in here that didn't distract from your view whatsoever, and you could click it, and you wouldn't even notice that it was going, and you could do the auto sprint. Now, we need, we absolutely, positively need 
this great big thing down here to tell us we're auto speeding. It's like this combat stuff up there. I'm going to continuously bitch about this stuff up here. I don't want to do this. I do not want to do this. I do not want to click this. The first, the second, the third, the fourth time I clicked this little bubble, my game crashed and I had to have my entire files on my computer rebuilt before I could play the game again. So I don't want to play that. There are days I don't have nothing to do with it. Glimpse of my long lost parents. Now you see, we've selected the two quests here. We're not going to do the daily, but I'm going to show you something. Okay, new player experience. How would they know to click this? They wouldn't. There are days I'd give anything for even just a. Because it brings up another experience. quest. Kang. There are days I'd give anything. Lo and behold, another quest. Okay, we're not going to test those now. We're going to go in here and we're going to get this stuff done. It's dark so I can't see with the stuff around in here. And I probably should put a fly on. Uh, so I'll do that so you can see what's going on in here where I'm actually going. Okay, and around this stuff. And of course a new player would know how to do this. There are days I give anything. Okay, and again a glimpse of my okay, more quests come up. Now we're here. We got all these quests up here again. Okay. But what we have to do is this and again how do they know to do that there are days i'd give anything okay just now we're down to one monster. so we completed all of those quests and we're going to run back and forth again which is okay i don't mind for that Uh, the other thing is that I wanted to mention 
I'm not using a horse for several reasons. One, a new player would not <coughs> be able to use a horse for quite a while in this quest line. Eventually they will get one. However, you cannot level this without running. If you're on a horse all the time, this stuff will not go up. There are days I'd give anything for even just a glimpse of my long lost parents. With so many customers waiting for checkpoint. Okay, so we're now going to continue with the main quest line. Now, maybe I'm putting too much into it. Uh, one, in making people have to watch this video in full length. Two, having to listen to me All right, our first talk up about be but I should warn you problems in the game or, or up a prayer, things that should be easily the... fixed for the new player experience. Um, but yeah, there's no not going to be any closed captioning. There's closed captioning on Twist, but I'm not going to put the closed captioning on the screen. Um, if they want to fix it, they can sit here and they can watch the whole thing and see what, and actually see. That's the thing is, they can actually see through another person's eyes what the problems are with this quest line are and how they should be fixed they don't have at least from my point of view they don't have anybody that plays through these games and can see the problems in them or if they see the problems in it they're not listened to uh, their superiors aren't listening to them they're not they're saying that the game's okay the way it is. Okay, there's one quest right there that I'm not going to do. It's a fishing quest. But I can tell you for an absolute fact, there are two other quests locked behind that quest that you can't get to until you complete it. So maybe a new player would play do the fishing one and be able to get the quest. I don't know. I'm a veteran player. I don't want to sit for... Uh, one cast to four hours to try and catch one specific fish. So we're not going to do it now. Uh, I'm also going to do this the easiest and most efficient possible way of doing it. 
I understand that a new player won't have the ability to do this. But I'm going to do it anyways. Okay, so. You see me take three cups of tea. Okay, I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to talk to this dude. Which is absolutely nothing to do with the storyline. See, the storyline's over here. Okay? I'm not doing the storyline at the moment. Okay, I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to grab this quest. And he has yourself. two quests. Okay, one is a gathering need? quest, life skill, whatever. And then a daily, which we're not going to do. Okay? So, we are going to go on a long distance run. Whoops. Come on. Where? See, that was auto path fail. I clicked it to go to the location. And instead, it wants to... Hey, there's a location. It's sending me back to the person who gave me the quest. That, to me, is what I call auto path fail. Simple coding. It's called if, then. If this situation occurs and they haven't completed the quest, then they go to where they need to complete the quest. If they have completed the quest, then they go back to the person to turn it in. That's called if-then programming. Two lines. Okay? Two frickin' code lines. Learn it. And I noticed that I just looked over it, closed captioning, and it's not, it doesn't like my voice. It's putting cold instead of code, and there we go. It's picking it up right now. But anyways, so we're going to bypass all of these quests here. And catch them when we get to this area during the main quest line. Okay, so we're going to go in here and we're going to grab some mushrooms. And I believe I already have my... Yeah, I've got it equipped. Okay, so we're going to grab some of these. There we go. Okay, now, we're going to take them. We're going to switch over. We're going to put our axe on. And there is a quest here that says, Gather Pine Timber. For your general information, I am going to gather 30 logs at this point. There are two quests coming up in the storyline that require logs that you just give to people. One is 20, the other is 10. Uh, you don't have to cut them down. You just have to give them to me. So I could have easily just pulled them out of my storage because I have logs in storage. But this is generally what I do during these playthroughs. Is I will go around and I will make sure I have 30 logs. Um, I 
and I will carry them around until I get to those quest lines. And I'll point them out when we get there. Uh, where are we at? We're at 23. Okay. So, um, by the way, these are what I call dead trees. Uh, there are 99 dead trees in the mountain of Everfrost to one live tree. Uh, I assume they programmed it that way. That 99 out of 100 trees you go to will be dead trees and you won't be able to get anything. Just to delay you playing the game and ruin your new player experience. I'm sure. Okay, so we're at 33. Now, let's try this. We've completed the quest. We're going to click on this and see where it takes us. Do you think it's going to take us back to where we want to go? Or is it going to take us to the log areas? Okay, it's not going to take us back to where we want to go. But it's close enough for where we need to go anyways. So, we'll change paths once we get there. Again, auto path fail. So my question at this point is, did they program this especially so that a new player would miss these quests and be forced to have to come back through this entire area and search for these quests? Or... Did they just do very poor storyboard setup so that they missed these quests? Or they were in there? Or did they... Who knows? I mean, when you create a storyboard, you, you put on the storyboard how to get to each one of these. If you go on the main quest line, you're going to miss a lot of these. Bottom line. Period. This, I believe... And memory fails me because it's been so long. See, there's where Autopath is taking us. Well, I'm not going to go there. Um, this was the first character I ever created. Um, and I played for, on her for a while. And... At the time, she was very hard to play. So I ended up in this switching game, over to Witch. In this game, success okay, see, depends entirely I completed on the quest, man. You can get and there's nothing up there that tells me what to do. In this game, this. success depends entirely... There's so my frustration map. level at this point for being a new player is getting really high. Now I'm going to come here... And I'm Hang finally going to get on. this quest done. Okay. Now, Hang on, on. watch the I'm quest time. Single brood team. Show the single brood team. Twice brood team. Show the twice brood team. I'm usually in tip top shape, but these days I'm usually Show the well brood team. Hang on, hang guess on. What? I'm busy cooking. I got three quests, and all I had to do. We'll show them three cups of tea. Whoops. Oh, did I drink that? 
That was kind of stupid. What I wanted to do was put it away. It's okay. I got lots of those. That's the one I worried about. I only got one of those. And I do need to get around to making some more of those. Okay, so now we're not going on this. We're going to go on the main quest line. See, we're back to here. Okay, it's going to take me right there. Okay, and we're going to do it. We're going to go back on the main quest line. If anyone objects to and luckily new players have the small version of Black Spirit like I have set up already so that it's able to open in the tent otherwise you have to go outside okay so now we have a quest called this one here in which we go to Jork the guy that gave us the log pine quest okay and we're gonna go over here and we're gonna click you on him. Trade. You need to invest and in success what? depends entirely on how fast There's a question. You want to trade. Okay, we're gonna go down here. And we're gonna search for a white weasel in the snow and try and find it. There it is. Okay. And I'm using my mini map to find them. Okay. White weasel in the snow. Dead skunk in the middle of the road. Oh, that's a weasel, sorry. And then we're gonna go back to him. And my watch is going off telling me it's 5.30, my time. There's a trade in this game. Okay, and then there's gonna be another quest. And we're gonna run around even more. Now I assume that the programming wouldn't allow you to have this stuff on this side of the river, that it had to be on that side of the river. I think that's what it is. I'm not sure. And I pissed off the crab behind it. So I will run away. Okay, so should we try the, the auto pass and see if it failed? We've completed it. See, let's see what it's going to do for us. Where's it going to take us? It's going to take us back to where we want to go. Okay, we're going to try it again. We, oh, we've completed the quest. We're going to press on this, and where's it going to take us? Not. Emphasis, not. Into a rock. Oh, it did, didn't it? Sorry about that.
Okay, so we're back to him. If you want to trade and we game, have finally completed, entire. only because I know all of his quests. We're gonna go up here. He's gonna give us this. I used to run a small tavern in Dubai. I wish I had. And then we're gonna be able to go over here. I hope nothing it does And not give well. him it does not some citron well. tea and complete his quest. Now we can go back on the main storyline, which we will hit auto pass. Because we don't know where it is. We're a new player. And we'll get caught in a bunch of the environment. I'm not Let's see it's just for both Let's don't forget. I just want to make sure it doesn't. Okay, and he'll pop up. And then we'll go out the door. And we'll have no idea. Is that Mr. Cash? No, it's Mr. Chance. I can't see his screen so bright. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that's what I wanted to show you. Is this here? Okay, we need to go in and we need to check that we actually got the quest. And oh boy, we can't see. It's down here. It's not at the top. So we're gonna get up here. We're gonna talk to him. Chief Gavin. See. Okay. We're gonna trust me the storyline. We're not gonna accept his fish quest. Talk to him. And talk to him. And go around here. And go right through the camel. Get caught on the environment. Go to there. And go out through the camel's foot. Here. Okay, and then he's gonna pop up. And we'll auto accept the quest. Then we're gonna take off and run. And there we go. And we're not going to talk about the knowledge this stuff. There is a bunch of knowledge along this quest line that required a. Oops, that right? Yep, it's quite a cool. Okay, that required. Some really capable people to make videos on how to get the knowledge. And I'm not a video producer. I'm not, that's not my forte. My forte is games. And being able to see what others cannot see. And I was so that one can eat you. Oh, not what? it was a city she did say. Emphasis on blinded by the light. Oh, auto path fail. Look at that. I'm stuck. I think you can fill me in on the path. The, 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 uh, wait here. Listen. It seems you will need to follow. See, I almost started another quest that I shouldn't have because I was clicking too fast and that, I guess is my fault. However, if none of those quests were there, I wouldn't have that problem. So.
Oh, they're actually spawned. I'm going to get up for just a minute.
Okay, IRL has gotten away for a little bit here, but <clears throat> such is life. It's kind of like the programming. Okay, so we talked to Lambo. Uh, well, I don't want you to see me get scolded by old man Charbonneau. And BS jumps up, and we auto accept. And we look on it to see where the quest is, and it's not visible because you have to scroll all the way to the bottom because they got too much crap in here. Okay, so we're going to go to one area that we already passed. So, if you are a new player, and you do watch this. I hear you. I, do. I will tell you. But this is the mountain. I will offer you a word of advice to all of listen and take notes, the though you may not fully understand. Freddy looking outside. Freddy, my dog looking outside. Oh hey, um, you're the warrior of Wind Knoll, living with the mutant swamp sentinels. Um. Do the side quests in an area before on, continuing from then on the main mission. I'm learning to count. And you will save yourself a lot of heartache of having to come back oh, and do things again. Yeah. Okay, now here's another coding issue. See that white light over there? That's where we need to take salt bags and watch. It's gone. And you're gonna drop it off. And you're gonna talk to the character. Oh, is actually a and <sighs> she's got a quest. <sighs> but if you click on chat, which you have no idea you're supposed to do because you're a new player, is you can end the quest. Okay, that's a fishing quest over there. We're not gonna bother with it. And we're gonna go back to this guy. And now, if you want to see a really good auto path fail, you do this. <laughs> what a joke. One right after another. You know, there is earlier, but there's this nothing. If we, the reason I want to put weird, the old man. And I understand. However, you're not. Why? My character has wow, look at, how do you, are you auto path failures so much. It's because of this. Okay. I can move faster than a player who doesn't have that. Therefore, the programming isn't able to keep up with the speed of my character. So instead of autopath fail, we should call it coding fail.
Oh, we needed to have those pop up for a new player. So he can be distracted and go do those. Nice view. See that again? Okay, so we're gonna talk again. As expected, and here's I'm, I'm, I have as another as one of my big, a, big, uh, big, 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 big complaints. Okay. I want to return while I still have a place to return to. With mind if and you body reject flexed. him, it's the end of the storyline. You can't do anymore. So you have to accept them. I just need to play. So why I want would to return you put while that I still have a place to return to? I mean, With mind and the new character, new players don't even know who he is. Are you well? Any kind of knows that you really need. Wow. Okay. So we're off and running again. Okay, so I'm going to stop, and once again, I am it going to be your side quest It must have been your companion's first. will that brought you here. It must have been your companion's okay. will that brought you here. I'm going to pick Outsiders this one up. Refer to us who walk with no and this one, my companions refused. you have to get the logs. Okay? So I obviously have already given it to him. So you will go into the inventory, you will get your axe out and the axe that you were told to bring in the very beginning here. Uh, oh, you weren't. That's right. I'm sorry. You didn't know you needed all this stuff. Shall never be now he has another quest. To us who walk with now Trainers this, if you're a new player, just inside the building My is the books you need to, to be read. Handled. It must have been Once you've read them, will you do you a My companions refuse auto to be complete thing. But the books are right there. Okay. If you need them. Okay, you're gonna go down here and you're going to slaughter all the lambs. It's in your best interest to butcher everything you kill, and then what you don't use, you can sell it on the market, or you can use it for cooking. Whatever. Outsiders refer to us who walk okay, with so no gonna do this. My companions chat. refuse to be handled by the Give them this. Keep truth in your heart. Another quest Keep is going to pop your up. Heart, and you shall never be led astray. My companions and for continuing on the main quest line, you are going to go complete this. Because if you stay on the main quest line, you don't go anywhere near this location. And then you have to come back from Elton all the way back here to complete it. Uh, and they really need to change the colors of this. 
Okay. Daily quests have to be a different color than any other quest. Okay. This looks like a main quest line until you see that it's not a solid border. But if it was a different color, you would be able to identify it very quickly, very easily. Greetings. I'm right. Many people come here to the hall. Please show respect. But I guess they don't want you to do that. So, and now we continue with the main storyline. Oops, going in the wrong direction. Oh, no, I'm not. So please, take on the trial of the witch. A surprisingly large mouth. You're sure that is you're skipping over all these steps, duty. Okay, so we have to find a companion, dude. So we go back to him. Now we talk to him. Procedure of submit thyself, Hulk. Good. May no okay. warm winds and it's gonna give us the main quest. That is fine. If you do fail, go to the Knoll Totem and butcher the sheep. Okay, offer. and then, then bring the he does have a daily quest, which we're not gonna accept. And we have to read the instructions. We have to use Wando's butcher knife because it has to be a step specific one in order to pass the quest objectives. We're going to go in here and we're going to swallow water the lambs. And yes, Dark Knight is an efficient killer. And again, we're going to collect everything we kill. I even got a weasel. Poor guy. Okay. So you're then gonna stop. You're gonna go into your inventory. You're gonna get rid of Londo's knife and put it down here. Because you're never ever gonna use it again. And then we're gonna continue on. And you see the White Hawk that we're supposed to go to? Oh, you can't. Oh, I wonder why. But if you talk to him and don't do anything, just highlight him, it shows you the hawk you're supposed to talk to. Wow. Okay, you're going to commune with it. And then you're going to go through the obstacle course. You go over here. Follow the hawk while avoiding the mutant swamp sentinels. They will lead you to the seed. Okay, and then you're gonna go over here, and you're gonna go over here. You're gonna run like the wind. To be free again. Whoops, sorry about that, people. I picked up the daily quest rather than head to this one. Even a new player might have done that. I can't believe it. This guy? 
You know what he just told me to do? Get lost. Okay, the important <laughs> thing here. Can't see very well. <sighs> You're gonna go to this dude. Okay, this is an auto fail. No matter what you do here, it auto fails. Because dipshit has to come over and save you. Now, the most important part here is you need to pay attention to where the hawk goes. Okay, see he went straight ahead. Okay, yesterday he went that way, the day before he went that way. Today is the hardest one to go after. Okay, because see all of these guys over here? We're going to go and go just behind this dude. Okay, see the hawk? He's right in front of me now. Okay, he's by the biggest dude there is. And the hardest dude to get around. So the other thing you're going to find here too is that his little arrow thing may not light up until after you go by it. Which is really good when you're right behind this big dude. There it is. Once you get there, click on it and you'll get no out of there. No idea real quick. how many times I wanted to leave you for dead. You were lucky. And I made it look too easy. Now we're going to go through the obstacle course again to get to Londo. I'm still not just safe. Don't go to count on. Okay, and then we're going to try and get over to the Hawk, which we did successfully on the first attempt. And we're going to go back around the obstacle course to him. I will pluck you over. And I will, uh, they're going to talk to him. And we're going to click Karondo Beard away so we don't need to see that anymore. Okay, and then we're going to go over to here. And this is where you get your horse. Of which, if I got a horse at this point, and I'm sorry, fire. I would be going to use it, which then, once again, you wouldn't be leveling up this stuff, you'd be riding a horse. And I can guarantee you, 99% uh, guarantee you, that that horse will die during this quest line because you're going to ride it through areas in which a tier 5, because they don't have tier 1, 2, or 3, or 4 anymore. <sighs> That's a whole different discussion. You know, you're a new player, and they don't have a 1, 2, 3, or 4 tier 1 horse, and there's nobody that can explain why? Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. So, you get here. And again, we're going to do the side quests before we do the main story quests. Okay, so we're going to bypass all these guys and start the side quests here. Ailton is home. They call me a little. And here. It might look shabby. Even though it looks like Leomar might have done that crew on you. And we're gonna jump down and we're gonna talk to Don't this care thing. how much adventuring you've done. Don't care how much adventuring you've done. No one knows if you want to trade because if that you want to trade in the quest. mountain of eternal. And a new player wouldn't know that. He'd click on it, have to do the kill quest, and get his horse slaughtered and him slaughtered. He's a shy man. Okay, and this guy Looks has a daily quest friend. after we do his new quest Leobar. here. I can still That's vividly daily. recall the intense hunger I experienced. Then we're gonna go over here. We're gonna talk to quality. this dude. It's a joy to see a horse's dusty and we're quality. Oh, an auto complete. It's a joy to see a horse. And then we're gonna talk about the shop promotion. And then he's gonna want river water. 
and we're going to give him a bottle of river water. As you can see, and that's going to complete the quest, and then he's going to want some repair work done, and you have to cut the trees. Okay. So you're going to put an axe on, the axe that they didn't tell you to bring. That's a cedar. That's a pine. <laughs> I only got that amount. Oh, God. Yeah, let me see if I can find another one here. That's a fir. That's a cedar. That's a cedar. That's a pine. And as a new player, you would know exactly. Oh, there's my favorite video virtual keyboard. Okay, so we know that he has a kill quest. We know he has a daily quest. We're going to go back over to here. And we're going to finish up with him. It's a joy to see a okay, and all of his quests are now done. We're going to go back up here. And yeah, we're going to turn this way. He's going to be done. We're going to go back over here. Looks like and Leo he's going to give us one more quest. And we're going to jump down and talk to his brother. And his brother has a daily quest that we're not going to accept. And then we're going to go back on the main storyline. Okay, which is over to him. The callus is on my now, hands. Bring back memories of my youth. Where's the quest? I knew nothing of this is a kill thing. quest. This is a daily quest. There's no quest here. You can't continue. Oh yeah, you can. What happened here last night? The syringe layout clearing at all. Junk, but it's the kill. Okay, well, be uh, careful when you're clicking. Told it as but you don't take the daily quest because it's a kill quest. Then you're going to come here and you're going to take your weapon out. You're going to do what I did and it's not going to work because you don't know how. So you're going to put your weapon away and you're going to click on it. And, you're gonna kill it anyway. and as a new player, you're getting extremely frustrated because. This stuff is in the plane to your mercenary properly. unlike your brooding put down the pickaxe okay. and quick unlike your brooding okay. he's gonna want us to do something we're gonna go up and talk to the dude that's scared of showing his face hey what then we're gonna get caught in the environment go down here talk to him and not accept his skill quests. Okay. Then BS is going to pop up. And we're going to go back over here. He's going to tell him how he's going to find Then the big dude's going to be standing right behind you. Right there. Okay, now we're going to go down, we're going to talk to him. Yeah, we're going to talk to the lady who tries to get us killed on several different times. Okay, in here, in which you have to go around the table to talk to her. Well, you get to look at your back. Okay, and then all this is going to go through. You get to look at your back again. And you need to go out here and go for a run. Now 
Notice how they have boss. Even though there's all of these different guys here. So, it says we gotta go back there. We're not gonna go back there. We're gonna go this way. This is the next area we're going to. And we're gonna talk to this dude. And he's gonna give us a quest in which he wants timber. So we're going to get him his timber. And we're going to come back around. Maybe you bloody, bloody goblins. And he's going to give us a quest that's going to take us back to where we just were. So we're going to talk to this guy to complete his quest and not hand. accept his daily or his kill quest. Then we're going to go in and we're going to talk to her. I hope you nail as there's be no no with the gale and with the greater lad that you love. Oh, thank you. Oh, it is Mitch. Please come visit us in Ailton sometime. Our most husband. And BS is going to pop up. Got to get your fill of BS. And they are going to head back to the area in which we did that quest. And I'm going to explain to you why. One, if you didn't do the quest, if you did it now, you'd have to backtrack all the way back to there. So your progression is going backwards and you're ruining your new player experience. Now, here's the game. Okay, we're going to go over here. And we're going to talk to him. Okay. Then we're going to get some more BS. And we're going to come down here. We're going to talk to him. Okay, and Psycho is going to do his thing. Talk to Psycho. Talk to Psycho. So why you, uh, now? Uh, why are you standing around? Okay, now you're gonna turn around, and guess what? He's gone. So you can't accept his quest because he's not there. Oops, wrong one. Don't want to do that. I'm doing it out of order. You have to do this in order. Okay, I hate wheelbarrows. Okay, now I can press R. Okay, now I can go get a new box. The old one's gone already. I'm 
gerade noch mal geschaut. Officially get a hot foot because I'm standing right in the fire. Ouch! 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 Okay. Go over to here. Hit this. Now, I'm going to show you something. This is how you fail. Okay, you look at it like that. You go into your inventory and you throw the bucket of water. And you fail. Because you actually have to come up, put your feet right at the edge of the fire, look straight down on it, and then throw the bucket. You notice how the water went beyond the fire? Okay, and you do the same thing again. You get up to it right there. You look straight at the fire, almost at a downward angle. And you throw the bucket of water. And the bucket of water goes right by it, but it puts the fire out. And again, you do it this way again. And you go like this. You throw the bucket of water. It distinguishes it. Then you throw away the rest of the water because you don't need it. Then you go talk to Lando. It's the sleep of you. Lend us your aid. Okay, and then you talk to this thing. Okay, and then you get some more BS. And then you go talk to him. This part, you don't mind. Go ahead and take the. Okay, so, and you turn around, and the guy is still gone. So you kind of missed your opportunity to get to do the quest and your new player experience is frustrated because you went through five buckets of water and you couldn't put the fire out because you couldn't figure out how to do it Okay, and this is a daily quest, which I mistakenly took. Oh, okay, we're here now. I'm gonna bypass this whole area. There is a major quest that we're coming up to. Oh, isn't that exciting? Boy, you really want that to happen while you're playing, don't you? There is a major quest that's coming up in the storyline, which is difficult for a new player to get in and out of that area. And I will explain that once we get there. So, this guy's quest requires you to go in that area and get something. He's going to give you the quest that actually does it. So you have to start this storyline. Do you tell him I love shiny accessories like earrings and necklaces? Tell him. Okay. Back out. And here's the quest. Zabaya prefers smart, intelligent touch, right? Zabaya. This quest requires you to go in the Jade Cave. The Jade Cave is very difficult for a new player to get in and out of safely and if you're on a tier four or five horse whatever the smallest one is uh, okay remember we're not going to the cave we're going back to the main storyline so you want to make sure you click that um, your horse will die unless you're an exceptional rider from the very beginning of the game Okay, so you're going to go in here and you're going to bypass all of the main storyline and start the side quests. This far, citron kernels can be eaten. Or you can, citron kernels can be eaten. Was it the aromatic okay, scent? she's got citron. daily quests, so you got to be careful you don't click on her daily quest. Oh, it's not hard, it's just you don't really want to do it. 
So, here, you're gonna talk to her. And you're actually gonna do the start of the mainline quest here. And you're going to listen to her pit, which is part of the main storyline. And you're gonna complete that, and then you're not gonna go any further. You're now on a side quest. Okay. You gotta get your fill of the BS. Then you're gonna go over here and you're gonna talk to him. He's part of the side quest. And you're gonna go back up here. You're gonna talk to her. This farm okay. produces a whole variety She's gonna of give you citrus. another side quest. Citrus. You're gonna go back down. You're gonna talk to him. He's gonna give you a side quest. Pick up a box and take it halfway across the game. That's halfway across the game. Drop it off. Make sure you're still in the circle with her. Otherwise, it will not count. Talk to her. She's going to give you, you another quest. I'm going to be presenting this in Dragon soon. You're going to go over to this one. Do this quest. And <coughs> you can come back. <coughs> Get a short quest. What do you she's going to give you another quest. I'm going to be presenting this in Dragon soon. You're going to go back up the hill. Gonna get over here. This farm produces You're going a whole to talk to her. Citron kernels can be eaten first. Or you can Except either one of those, it doesn't matter. This seed has then you're going to start the another quest. Of fresh citrons that led you here. Citron kernels. Okay, and this quest requires you to harvest a citron, which you will make sure you have your hoe on. Go back down here again. We'll harvest it. We'll go back up. We'll talk to her. This farm produces okay. a whole variety of Trap this seed her. has come from the Hokuraura Island. But actually, Okay, she's citron gonna give you another quest. Was it the aromatic scent of fresh citrons that led you here? Was it the aromatic Okay, you're gonna go and do it this way. You have to make the water. Okay, so you need a bottle of river water. You have to filter it. Was it she the will give you another quest. That led you here? This seed has come. It will go into processing. Simple cooking. You will only make one. You do not need to make all of them. Complete the quest. This seed has come from. Was it the aromatic scent of fresh citrons quest. that led you here? This seed. Down here. And down here. Down here. <laughs> what do you think? We'll chat with oh, her. I'm gonna be presenting this in Dragon's. <laughs> we will chat with him. Lords are extreme lords. We'll go back over this way. Back up the hill. It looks like the mama is home. Okay, we'll talk to him. This farm produces a whole this farm that produces a whole is variety. a side quest now. We will go back on the main line quests. 
we will take a shortcut through the orchard. Continue on the main line quest, and I will be right back. Hello, Mama. How are you? So, that was being polite. We will continue with the main quest line. Spray this road because it's getting sore. Oh, well. oh, it's the and we'll go back up the hill. It may seem I was Mara, my closest friend, but however, continue the main quest. She said if she said in Tornu, she look. Oh no, and before a single child, if Barhan while ever avoiding come. her daily. This is a huge weight off my chest. Get some more BS. And then we're going to head out through the door. Hit the auto path. Talk to her. Continue on the main quest line without doing her daily. Okay. And then we're gonna get this come up. Barhan, stop digging any further. Yeah, we'll script the cutscene. Talk to him. Yes, I am that no yeah. Read the building. The shield is the snowstorm god poke. Okay, get some more BS. Okay, and then off and run. Can't see anything because that's in the way. I'm gonna run through this stuff. If you heard you you scoundrel. Go back over here, talk to him. You would use your cup high of Yes, I needn't worry about me. Okay, and hit the autopath fail. Autopath fail. Okay, we're gonna get in here. And we're gonna have to jump our way around in here to get this. And quickly go through all this crap. And hit the autopath fail. And it actually went through. Wow. That's one of the few times it ever did. And we'll talk to this dude. You can do everyone 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 is stopping. Okay. And go into processing. And make sure you do these two, not those two. And you have to make all ten.
Okay, that's crashing a little bit too much. So I think we'll see if we can pick it up. About here, what's that? 23? Yeah. It's, it looks like it's crashing, but it's not. It'll self-stop. And none of that applies to you anyway, so if you're a new player. Everyone, get up and head to cover! Professor Tabodai. Okay. Auto pass. Now this is the worst. The auto path fails. It just stops. Probably. Now you have no idea as a new player no. that you're Correct. about to go straight into combat. You're just going to get gunboat. thrown into I have a proposition. No preparation, no warning, First. no nothing. And it hasn't spawned yet, and I'm attacking it. So it's getting really hard. So, if you weren't prepared for that, you got slaughtered. I'm taking it. Hey, what are you standing up? <laughs> Gotta get more BS. Quick check to see that everything is running right. Yep, okay. So, and then we're gonna talk to this dude. think I would use the. And we're gonna do our cutscene. I have no idea what that is, but. And then we're gonna auto path fail. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna show you something here. That's a trade item that you're gonna sell. But this and this are quest items, and you have to keep them in your inventory until you're done questing. The quest, doing done doing the quest. These are items you're going to sell, and I don't really see anything else up there that's worth talking about. Okay, so now we're coming to the area which is very hazardous for a new player and i'm going to show you some stuff here if you're on a horse and it's a new horse and you're a new player a horse will die it's not going to get through here if it does yeah i'd be freaking amazed um so you're going to talk to this guy reacted to emotion and you're gonna get your fill of BS. 
you gonna talk to her? We're live. It's time I need to rest in this one. Okay, now. See the dots on my mini map? Right here. You can do both of these groups. Okay, it's better you do this group because inside this area are really high level dudes. So you really don't want to fuck with them unless you have to. So now, it's going to auto-path you to complete through the bad area here, okay? So if you're on a horse, you got to be really, really careful. These guys aren't bad, but from this point on, all of these dudes are really high level, and they can trap you and make your life miserable like that. And if they hit you and you're low level, you are going to die. And if you're on a horse, you're going to, your horse is going to get killed. So, I advise you not to take your horse in there. Now, we're going to do something. We're going to go in the main storyline. We're going to go out of it. Then go back in it, so to speak. Now, why don't we get some tea? Okay, what's really important now is this. She has a quest. Keep your voice okay. down. Keep your voice it down. It is a side quest. React loud noises. If you're going to accept it. And you're going to continue with the main line quest. None of us have as I want to know. If you want to know. Okay, he's going to ask you to read some books. What I must meet with but I and fight with this stuff. Now you're gonna go over to her and she's gonna ask you to do some other stuff. Okay, now we're gonna go out here and we're gonna stop for a minute. She's asked you to defeat more of these guys, okay? And you can see on the mini map that's where they're located. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna go in here and we're going to accept this quest and we're going to run down the hill until we get past this dude here and then we're going to hit the auto path and we're going to run back through this whole area so your only real worry at the moment is if somebody else is questing in this area or grinding because they will have uh, pissed off all of those guys and they'll kill you. So we're gonna go back in here. Hi Luna. Luna my puppy dog. You read the novel the And we're gonna long talk long. to her. If a, if a witness were to speak up. If a witness and she's gonna give us a go stand and look quest. Which is basically what it is. So you're gonna go in here and you're not gonna fuck with anybody. Excuse my language. You're just going to go over here. You're going to click it three times to pass all of the things. Then you're going to go back to her. She's going to say thank you. And she's going to give you another quest. Okay, and we're going to stop and I'm going to show you this. Okay, you now have to kill three guys and you have to kill five guys for this well these three guys count as three of the five so you're going to do it all at once okay and 
they're showing you to go in there, you can actually kill them right here. Okay? can see that I got all of the guys from the three quests, so we'll just kill one of these little guys. Easier said than done, I know. They're harder to kill than the bigger guys. Okay, so now you go back, and you notice both quests are complete. Put your weapon away. You're going to talk to her. If a woman longed for peace between the Dimmy Beast and the Oak Jim. Okay, now. You're going to continue with the main storyline quest. Okay? And once again, please be careful going through here. Because if you get locked in like that, if you're a low level, you're going to get killed. Okay, so you're going to get in here, and this is called the Jade Cave, in spite of what it says up there. You will go into your inventory, you will grab your pickaxe, you will go over here, and that is the quest you got from the guy inside Elton, this one here. You're now in a jade cave. Okay, so <clears throat> if you go to if you bypass all of this, you can go to Elton, and then you get this quest. You got to come all the way back through here, which I think is absolutely stupid. Again, you know, new player experience, man. And you're gonna talk to a tree. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. You're gonna talk to him. He does have a uh, kind of a side quest large thing. That one right there. You don't you're not doing that yet, so don't worry about it. Um so you're gonna do the flame of origin. If you're a new player doing it for the first time Please watch a video from somebody on how to do this. Don't do it my way. I shall now open the heaven. This really does nothing. I'm just doing it. Stop, stop Side effects. Wind. Special effects. Whatever. Okay. So. You need to continue on. And I'm clicking through this really, really quickly. But you do know that if any of us uses our light, our souls. Okay, and then we're going to talk to this dude. The village ruined. They believe that you cheat. Any fool of and you're going to avoid his um, 
talk about the helmet. And guess what? The screen's gonna lock up, and you're gonna be teleported, and you have no idea that you're being teleported. Okay, so we're headed to Elton now, and we're going to do a lot of side quests here, and we're going to do them in a specific order that I have, I mean, this is my 20th some odd time through here. Um, this is the easiest, simplest way to do all of these quests, rather than taking them all and trying to figure out which ones to do next if you follow this you'll see the quick path through everything and it'll make sense once you've done it one time uh, then you can do it again okay there is on rare occasions this guy will have a quest to do uh, he did earlier today it's not there now I have a feeling it's it's not a daily quest but I think it only pops up once a day. So there's two guys down here with quests, and we're only going to do the fish dudes quest oh. first. And there's a reason for that, and I will show you <coughs> once I get to that Love point. Is the least attractive thing man can You're not going to take his daily. Love You're actually like going to talk to him. Don't always get a bite. Okay. Sulking. And then you're going to go back up here. Like I said, we'll come back to that quest. We'll talk could to him. Okay, that'll complete the first quest from him. No, and then we'll get the place. second quest. And the second quest is important because we have to talk to four different people, which we're going to talk to anyways. Then we will come around here, and we will make a U-turn, and we will talk to this dude. My father's the best blacksmith. Every weapon my father's and he the best wanted twenty logs. Has ever seen. So we will give him his it's twenty logs and complete the quest. Now we will go up here and we're gonna bypass a few things on the way up here. Quite a few things to be exact. Because we're gonna go in here. And you see a bunch of daily quests in here. We're gonna talk oh, to this dude. The chef's away right now. How about I knock you up? We're gonna buy eleven dark beer, and we're not gonna go to the storage guy and dump all of our stuff off until after we get a quest to go talk to him. Now we're gonna go up the hill, grab this guy's quest. If you're so. Like to see the wood so. Okay. Then we're gonna go up here. And there's the dude that we got the quest for the cave from. I'm go I'm going to make we're gonna complete his first to quest. The right. We're gonna go talk to his lady friend. But tell him I love shiny accessories like earrings and there's the first of Tatro. Buy a okay. bomb that me? You know the so now we're going to give her her gift. We're actually going to talk to her three different times. Two different times. Three different times. I don't know. I'm going to make Anyways, so he has a daily quest. I'm not going to bother with it. Now we're going to talk to her. I'm sorry. My husband hubby grew everything. Because she wants to talk to My husband now this lady and her husband have a whole shit lot of quests. This beauty here is my wife. So we're gonna do this one first. <laughs> this beauty here is my wife. 
Here's my wife. And we're gonna do this quest. <laughs> gonna give us a quest here is my wife which we need to get some straw so now we're gonna leave these guys and we're gonna head down the hill okay remember the lady that gave us the quest about being isolated this completes her quest Okay, see the guy over there? That's the main line quest, so we're not gonna talk to him. You can sense that we're gonna talk to her. Uh, now I must turn and back. She's she's gonna gonna know you about can the sense cockerel, that. Even though she doesn't know anything about him. Okay. And we're gonna go down the hill. And we're gonna go over here. We're gonna bypass the storage dude for now, because we're gonna get a quest that takes us to him, and we're going to talk to Tobias. If you borrow money, you okay. pay it back. And we're going to take this quest. Simple enough? Not as daily. Okay. And then we're going to give him one dark beer. If you He's going to complete money, that. And then back. we're going to do Isn't this. That concept simple which enough? doesn't give you construction or combat experience, but it does give you a contribution point. Okay, then we're going to go down here, we're going to talk to the blacksmith, no we're going to hand the scroll over, you want. Just we're going to now, just for shits and giggles, challenges to prepare our gear, no okay, and then we're going to go over this way, we're going to go down through here, This is going to give us oh, our weapon. bundles Can of I branches. See it, adventurer? Goodness, I've never seen a weapon. Oh, your weapon. Okay, then we're gonna go over here. And he has a daily quest for logs. Just so you know. So this building was a rich okay. horses are better suited to the We're gonna work as a day labor because this is where we get the straw welcome. from. You'll find but no this is where I hand over twelve logs and complete a, a daily task. Okay, so now. I'm going to do this quest to get the straw. We're going to go over here. And it has to be done in that order, by the way. Otherwise, it won't complete. And he's going to give us a quest for the straw. That we now have the straw. Now we're going to go up here. And we're going to talk to her. To touch. We're going to chat Your with her first. Sometimes used as there's the last of the ladies that we needed to talk to. We make oak pills now using, we're going to we take oak this quest. Traditional method. We make oak pills. Some we're going to take this to quest. There are materials that if we make oak pills. We're going to open the processing window. We're going to go to simple alchemy and look. We have a whole bunch of that shit. So you're only going to make it once. Click <coughs> like your processing window again. Click on the bigger ones and make one of those. Turn both quests in. Are sometimes now, here's what I said about quests not turning up quickly. You'll see them pop up on the hand side, two of them together. There it is. Really, really slow. Okay, so we talked to everybody now. We're going to head back to Tatro on the side of the river. Talk to Tatro and 
complete his quest. So but beautiful. we're also going to do oh, this because we need Your the fish oil for the other quest. Rose and then Rosalind. we're going to start a whole Your new quest. Still torments my dreams. Oh, okay. Rose. We're going to go over here. And we're going to take 50 silk thread. Obviously, I've done this quest line before. And 50 things of cotton, both of which are available on the market. We're going to talk Those to him. Who escaped the abandoned iron mine are somewhere waiting to be rescued. And there's the 10 beer, so that makes 11 now. Those who escaped the abandoned iron mine are. Those who escaped the abandoned iron mine are somewhere waiting to be rescued. There's the cotton and there's the silk thread. Those who, those who escaped the abandoned iron mine are somewhere. Okay, now we're not going to complete his quest line because see, Hundvich and Hundvich. When we talk to him, it'll auto complete that. So we're going to hold off on doing that for right now. We're going to start on. Tatro's next quest and on Tobias's quest. Imbish cannot get enough of my herbal teas. Brew a tea with this herb. There's the first part of the stuff we need for Tatro. Okay. I'm not running very fast, so you can see where I'm going. If you want to succeed to as an him, entrepreneur, we'd rather live a quiet and avoid life. his daily quests. If you want to, and we're gonna talk to. Him, if I can. Thought I was a goner for sure. But when I came to, thought I was a goner for sure. Avoid his daily quest. I wouldn't even. We're gonna talk to him. Tis nigh a season since I avoid his daily quest. By the majesty of the sights here, that I'm so. We're gonna head out here. Go up here. Complete this guy's quest. You can't climb and then we're going to start another right quest. If you're going to climb the map. And then we are going to talk to him. This and give him the straw. This which is going to start continuing a quest line <laughs> with these two. <laughs> And we're going to talk to her. But we got to make sure we get this quest for Tatra. Okay. So Tatra's quests are somewhat done. Okay, what was that? We grew every fruit and vegetable. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we continue with her quest line. We do this. We go back over to him. And he wants to give us a gift, and he actually gives you the gift. It's in your inventory, but you have to put it together. Okay, and you're gonna go over to here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My husband he grew every. Okay, now she's gonna send you back over to the orchard. Okay, so you're gonna take that quest. And you're gonna head up there. And we're gonna stop at the trade manager. But my legs always. And we're gonna sell off Bring our trade forward. goods and avoid his quest. You know, get rid of all that dead weight, so to speak. And we're gonna run up this way. Go 
right about here. If uh, memory serves me right, click that. And work on this quest. Switch over to a hoe. Um, at this point, I will bitch about the having only one tool bag available to use. My shy has the tool bag on it. Um, I couldn't switch it over to a seasonal character because seasonal characters are not allowed Citrin to use anything which has or mastery on it. This uh, farm you just want to say hello to her. So, Was it the normally arrow? that tool bag always stays on shy. Now, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to stop here for a minute. Farming and cooking. Gathering alchemy. Hunting. Gathering in Everfrost. Ship captain, ship captain, ship captain. Ship captain. Gathering at... Uh, I won't say where it is. Uh... Main, main grinder, secondary grinder, third grinder, fishing person, horse trainer, desert bosses, uh, Karanda, um, Gatherer at uh, the desert. What's it called? Uh, I don't know where the rocks are. It's not registering in my mind. Useless character, useless character, useless character, useless character, useless character, useless character. Uh, gathering mushrooms. Bell. next season character gathering mushrooms so I can have a dozen characters with a dozen different tool bags uh, but I'm only allowed one because I'm only really allowed one gathering person that's why they only give you one bag Okay, we're going to go back here, and we're going to go down the hill. And we're going to give her her citron. Every fruit and vegetable. Okay. Every fruit and vegetable. She's going to make some tea for every hubby. Fruit and okay, we're going to go over to here. This beauty here. Okay. And he's going to give us another quest, which is going to take us outside the city, which is cool. Well, I'm okay with that. Uh, but we're going to go over here, we're going to turn in the cedar, snowfield cedar sap quest. Now we're going to go down here. And we're going to go over here. We're going to complete Tobias. Okay. 
We're gonna go across the bridge. We're gonna go over here. And we're gonna give him oh, his awesome. ingredients and complete that quest. Oh, and we're gonna take his Your next quest. And we're gonna go out this way. So if you're a life skiller, getting one tool bag, it's just, you know, they weren't doing us any favors by giving us one bag. Whoops, there it is. So that's complete. And don't get me wrong, I appreciate the things that they've done with the seasoned character for allowing them to get um, experience from gathering and the gathering drop rate, um, which I think is great. Uh, and I use my seasonal character for gathering. Um, and I will continue to some do that with every season touch. that there they make that available. There are materials that a human head, you must stop. Because I think it's a really, really great idea. However, one tool bag for all of the characters that just don't cut it for me. You can sense that which uh, but now I must hurry back to Snowstorm Guard, even if it's terrible. I mean, what's the big deal if you have more than one tool bag? I mean does it really make a difference in the overall scheme of the game not to give you as many as you want? I, I, I just, I don't get it. Viabondi likes me? Do you know the tell him? I love shiny accessories like earrings. Viabondi loves so Patro's quest line my is now has a habit of fully away. I'm sorry my hubby grew every fruit Give and your vegetable crystal ourselves. snowflakes I'm sorry my hubby grew every fruit and vegetable we have another quest we're gonna go over here this beauty here is my wife and he has a daily <laughs> you can get a fence from him You've now completed all of the quest lines. The daily is kind of rough. Okay, so now we've completed everybody's quest line. We're not going to turn these two in until the main story will take us across the bridge again. So we're going to wait for that. We're going to go do this. get back on the main quest line. You the chief of hand up. You treated him like you treated him like a queen. Aren't those the oak pills we once shared with the oak jinshini? Okay, see it completed both. They're done now. Okay, so we're gonna stay on the main quest line until we cross the bridge. Then I shall have that I must take. Gotta get our more BS. Gotta get our BS in. Okay, now we're gonna head over to the Dragon Museum. He does have a daily quest, um, which may not show up 
because I've already run through this storyline once today already. Uh, let's see here. As even with me chose to remain. Oh, there if you find it. <laughs> it looks like it showed up. We lost for it, but for all set and look for me. What? If it did show up, we will do it. But I decided to push the zero. I have to not do Yep, it showed up. Wow. So it shows up for every character? Shh, don't let them know that. Let's keep that a secret. Because you took it, you could do. There you are, really always acting all dark. I was whispering so they couldn't hear. Okay, so now we're going to come over and shit. We're at the you know storage guy now. We can actually get rid of season, our crap. Right? What? You think me and okay, again. Like keep the quest line stuff. Do not move that now. This goes in this storage one at a time. Please. Because we don't want to put things in more than one at a time. Um, is there anything else that goes in here? I seriously doubt it. Now, if we go to Velia, which is my cooking main, she gets the meat and all the money and the mushrooms. And I don't really see anything else. Okay, we're going to go to Heidel. And we're going to put the water bottles in there. We're going to go to Calfion, which is my main processing hub. I'm going to get rid of the wood, the jade, wood, plank, wood. And I don't really see anything else. Okay, we're going to go to Portiferia, which is my alchemy hub. We're going to get rid of that. That, that, um, purified water, that, and that. Uh, we'll get one of those. One of those I think we will keep in this How storage. How long do you plan to stay? Yeah, we'll put it in there just because. Okay, going back to what we were doing, go to Alta Nova, which is got all that crap in does all oh, that too that doesn't look like anything I'm just gonna move this down for here to get it out of the way and this down to here to get it out of the way and from the looks of it I have citron to put in there and click this go into the warehouse and we're going to put all of those into Central Warehouse. We don't need them anymore. Or we will sell them or whatever. And we will back out. And we will continue on the main bus line. So, let me turn that hurt there. Oh, ah! I know this. Autopath fail. Humans came to despise Silver. This is to make use of the. Blind. Please report these findings. Okay, now we will cross the bridge. In crossing the bridge, rather than going right, we will go left. And we will complete his entire storyline. And we will complete his storyline. Those. Then we'll go back the other way, 180 degrees. And go over here. The door will close before we get there. And we'll go up 
here and is watching for the horse that's inside this area. And do not take his daily. It's not hard to do, but we're not doing dailies right now. Then we're going to go back this way. And she has a daily that you don't need to do, so we'll take it. It's just like with any. These poor souls. There it is. Click off of it. Face this guy. What is the day? A human. We just met more. I should head to help. Oh, sorry. And then somebody's hungry and wants to go eat. Get a fresh pint of milk. Him. And take this quest. It doesn't matter what you do. No. If you take this one, you probably don't know how to play the game and you're going to fail I've at it. Long so. hard on my um, Your secret of my cooking. He has. Well, oh, that's right. Wing. That's secret why they're not, I've got them because well, it's after wing. reset. I worked long and hard on my uh, Your compliments. I never really played I've this got. late, so. Uh, what do we got here? <coughs> we got two fours and two aces. We're going to take the fours because that's coming up. So we would end up with three aces and three fours. And there we go. We get four of a kind. That is a great start. So we got some twos. We're gonna stay with the twos. Yep, we're gonna stay with the twos. And we get three of a kind. Okay, that's not great, but it's not bad. Okay, we got aces this time, so we're going to take the aces. And we're going to end up with three of a kind. That's not bad. I mean, don't get me wrong, the cards are not bad. They've been in my favor so far. Now, see this at 10 here? that's borderline to where I would take it so when I look at these I've got nothing else in there okay no combinations nothing so I'm gonna take the 10 and run I'm going to take the threes. Not bad. Three of a kind again. I have no sixes. Still no sixes. This, see, but the thing is, he can only get five points max if he gets five aces. So I basically won this already. So it doesn't really matter. Now, I'm going to take zero, which is, I don't think I've ever had a zero there. But he can't beat me. So not only did I do the main quest line, but I also did the daily. So I got those rewards. And all those useless quests keep coming up again. And we're on the downhill run now. And we're... If we succeed, 
pretty close to I suppose you'll be hailed forty five minutes from what we spent here. Look at that fuck sniffing on Okay. So provided I don't screw up I'll go in here, so we're off and running. Once you leave here, you're pretty much you got some real serious nuclear experience fuck ups. Um and you have two boss battles boss type battles I should say one group battle and one boss battle and you're basically done so we're coming up to what I consider the worst part of the new player experience until the day our kid I think the thing that upset me the most in this whole mess of things. By the way, when you do this more than once, you end up coming to different spots in front of this tent. Sometimes it's right on the line, sometimes it's not. Notice how I got there before the quest was complete. You'll find that a lot. Okay, here's the first of my serious disappointments. And unfortunately, on this quest, on this character, I can't really show you very well. But I can tell you I'm at professional 3, 40, and 11%. On the character I did this morning, they had zero hunting experience. But pay attention to this percentage, okay? Now, you gotta go in here. You're gonna equip your gun. BS is gonna pop up, okay? You gotta load it. Okay. Okay, because I have higher hunting experience, I can really make sure of these. I'm just shooting in random spots. I'm not really trying. Because if I was a new player, I wouldn't know what I was doing. Kill this one. Now, here's the part that really frustrates me. Okay. You're a new player, and you've just gone hunting and you've got absolutely zero experience. And there's no way that you know that. You just think the game has failed you. It has failed to register your hunting experience. So now, your new peer experience sucks because you've just done a quest and you've got no experience for it. Now, the other part that's in here that's screwed up is you notice that we actually have to talk to BS and we actually have to accept the quest. We haven't done that yet before, anywhere along here. So now you've completely changed the way the quests are coming up. And for a new player, you know, there was no warning, there's no nothing. You know, you, you're like, lost in the dark there, trying to figure out what to do. <coughs> so now you're going to continue oh, this along. Oh, uh, next, there's a window, you know, next is the home. Take your weapon out and load it. And understand, I have hunting experience. So, 
I'm gonna know enough to move around a little bit. Okay, BS is gonna pop up. It's gonna complete the quest, and then you're gonna click out of it. <clears throat> and it's like, okay, what do I do next? Uh, oh, I gotta go to some random dude here. I'm gonna press on this, and BS is gonna stick up again. And I'm gonna look at my quest, and it's not there. So I'll have to screw down and find it, okay? And and then I'm gonna go into my information and I'm gonna see that I went hunting for the second time and I have no experience. So basically what I did was worthless um, other than doing the storyline. So hunting to me now is getting to be uh, not something I want to do as a new player because you go hunting and you don't get experience so you're gonna go over here and you're gonna talk to this dude and you're going to equip his mighty axe okay and you're gonna turn around and you're gonna look at all that area over there where you gotta go cut down this tree and remember you had to go all the way over there to cut down that one tree and then you're going to summon the black spirit who's going to complete the quest and you're going to back out like you've always done during this quest line only to find out that you can't do that anymore. You actually have to click on it twice to get them to come up so you can get more BS and then you gotta search for the next quest you gotta do. Okay? And then you're gonna look at this and you're gonna go, oh my god, I've gone hunting three times and I have no experience. This game sucks and you're gonna quit. So put this in you're going to remove his useless item which you're never going to use again and then you're going to go over this way and you've been hunting twice and you're going hunting for the third time realizing that you're going to get no experience for it you're going to get nothing so you're not going to hunt again in the game you know you're just going to give it up unless you're fortunate enough to look at uh, somebody who's made a great uh, hunting video uh, so if you do a YouTube search for hunting videos you'll find it I'm not gonna name drop at the moment uh, but I have done a lot of his guides so okay so you gonna open your match lock and you're gonna be a new player and you're gonna get more BS and you're gonna load your match lock and understand that I'm wearing really really good gear and I'm really high level and I'm not gonna die no matter how many times these guys hit me but if I'm a new player I'm gonna get my ass kicked so I'm gonna do this really care because I don't get any experience for hunting and I'm getting really bored with hunting because I don't get any experience for it and my nuclear experience on hunting sucks so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna put my weapons back on because there's nothing that tells me I need to do that and I'm gonna talk to Black Spirit and I'm gonna complete his quest and then I'm going to find out I need to talk to him again so I can do the next quest. I'm going to talk to him again. I'm not going to be able to find it because it's hidden away. It's at the very bottom. Then I'm going to do this and then I'm finally going to be in the way. And by this time I am so pissed off I've probably given up on the game and turned it off. But we're coming up to the spot where I will get so frustrated I will completely quit the game and not play it ever again.
And this is the toughest group fight you're going to have to do. It's not really tough at all, but uh, because he, your uh, whiny friend here helps you, so just make sure you wait for him to spawn. That's all. character I was able to uh, stay in its crazy spinning mode for the entire response of uh, uh, oh I got an S rating on excuse me for a minute here I got an S rating on that. Holy shit. I'm impressed as hell when I got that. Okay, so we're done. There, there. Good bird. By Windnull's grace, please spread word. There is good. What? It actually started the quest again for me? I didn't have to talk to him twice? What's going on? Are it's they the changing city. the way these it's things are working again? I will let the cop. I'm getting so confused. My nuclear experience sucks. take and move this down with this piece of crap. There is another press piece there that goes up there. I'm just going to drop these down here for shits and giggles. Get them out of the way here. Is that Citron? Yeah, it's Citron. I went the long way. Damn it. Oh well. Autopath takes you the long way. I don't know why, but it does. Let's 
So we're back here again. We gotta get more of your BS. And I just noticed I've got a crap ton of skill points. Of which I really, really can't use any of them. Everything's maxed out, except for that. So at this point, and I will say at this point in the evolution of the game that I went to a ridiculous amount of effort to get her and her skill points to 2500 or higher and you have no conception on how is everyone it took me to do that on two characters so I could unlock every skill and then they changed it and said that they would unlock all of the skills by 1000 and give you weight training as a side benefit on two characters Whoa. I took a daily that's, I should have warned you guys about that. There are dailies here that you need to make sure that you do not take if you're a new player. And I just made the same mistake that they would because I was talking. Yeah, little bastard yeah I get here and, to the and, and I, to I, the I, I shouldn't be taking these quests to continue along. I mean, I have no idea that I'm supposed to go in and here and chat with the guy. The first hand you know. So, as a new player, I just accept the three quests that I'm going to get my ass kicked on and quit the game and never play it again. Uh, just because it was so unclear on what you need to do here. So, I'm going to now continue the quest line. But yeah, that whole skill point thing. That was pretty raw. That burned me yeah, pretty bad. That I, mean, you know. I did a lot of work to get my shot. skills up. I grinded a frickload to get those up there. And then it was all for naught. I mean, there, there's maybe a hundred hours in both of them that I wasted on getting skill points. Um, to unlock everything. And then all I got was weight training. What do I need weight training for? Here, I'll, I'll show you something. I'll stop and I'll show you something here. Okay. See this? They don't pick up anything. They pick up absolutely nothing. So... Why do I need weight when my pets don't pick anything up? Because um, they can't pick up anything for gathering. Um, and questing, all you get is worthless junk. So the only time you get anything worthwhile is if you're grinding. And if you don't grind, you don't need your pets to pick up. Now, again... You have no idea, as a new player, that you're being transported. And you're being transported into an area in which you're doing battle. So you're not prepared for it. You haven't got a freaking clue that's happening. And you're in a room that's total darkness. And you don't have any fireflies with you. Okay? 
So you're gonna spin around in the dark and just kill shit. Which is basically what I'm gonna do anyways, but you know, it's the old ad, it's one come to you. There are pets which will aggro enemies and make them come after you. I don't have pets like that set up right now. I suppose I could, but I don't. I'm just going to spin around in circles here and kill shit. Uh, just because it's what a new player would do. Well, actually a new player would chase them all over the place. So, which is pretty silly. I'm going to go like this. Now sometimes, on rare occasions, you get to this point and it will not have completed. It's because they're back here. Okay? So you had to come back here and kill them. Just so you know. Oh, that's right, you don't know that because you're a new player. <sighs> okay, so we're going to talk to him first. It seems your stature and, and your... he's going to whine and cry. I was absolutely certain this is scene. the way out. But why is it blocked? Guys, it's definitely the exit. I can... And then we're gonna go talk to this guy. I don't know what he says. Cause it's not really important. Come to a consensus. All of you. Okay, and then we're gonna get another cutscene. And then we're gonna jump right into battle with Dum Dum here. Yeah. And again on Zerker, I just went into the spinning mode and I killed him right away quick. And into another cutscene. Now I will take a minute to warn you about something here. Can I do it here? Yeah, I can do it here. Okay, so this knowledge stuff, this knowledge stuff is about going in finding stuff. You'll learn about it. If you're a new player, you won't have a clue. And you won't know enough to go over and click on the mushroom and click on the crystal because that's the only two places that you can get this is the only place that you can get those two knowledge once you leave here you cannot come back in unless you do the quest line over again so for a new player it's more frustrating you know you didn't find out you need to get that knowledge uh, you've got to make another character and you can go all the way through then you got to remember that um, you know, you got to get the knowledge here. Your new player experience just sucks. I swear. Oh, you got to get more BS. You got to look on here and see that. Oh, it's down here. It's hidden away. I can't find it. Okay, they're going to take lots. And you're gonna get here and go through this bullshit. Okay, and then you're gonna get teleported. 
again without any knowledge. Okay, so now you're here. Now again, I do poison the side quest first. Okay, because you are going to be teleported out of hey, this area, horses. and the Stop only way you'll be me. able to do the quest is if you come back here on your own. Okay, and you know enough as a new oh, player to come back here oh, on your own to be able to I do these quests on your own. Because they told you all about it. Not. Okay, so you want to make sure that you get them all done. Truthfully. Okay, and get that one up there. Now that quest that I grabbed there is in the area we're being teleported to. Did you know that as a new player? No. Restore peace to this. You know you're gonna get teleported, and you're not gonna have the quest. You're not even going to know the quest existed. So, I guess it don't matter if you don't know it all, right? If you're completely clueless. And the quest gives you knowledge of a specific NPC that you can only get by doing the quest. So you get to be teleported again. There he is. Now the only way you can get that quest is to go back there and talk to the guy, and then they will give you this Must. quest. Must. <coughs> Which requires you to go around here. You round and round and around. to give you knowledge on this NPC up here. My emotions, my emotions tend to yeah. rather wildly. Master said, the master said, that is a kill quest. Like you do winning. not want to accept that. And as a new player, you know that, right? It's been told to you, you don't want to take a quest that will get you virtually slaughtered in the game and you'll get slaughtered and you'll quit. Now, this is coming up. And I'll wait for a bit here before I explain. Is there any that's it? I have something look. One look, huh? It's in one of its moves. Could you go retrieve them in my stead? I don't Do not take that one. Although you can take it to get knowledge. Uh, but it means you have to fish up four things instead of one. Now you're gonna go back over here. And you cannot believe the frustration I had on this. Okay, so I came over here and I put my rod in and I tried to fish there. I came in, I put my rod in, I tried to fish there. And spent a lot of time fishing there for nothing. And then I came up here and because my speed path is on I kept falling off this rock instead of just moving in jerky moments and I tried fishing over there I tried fishing over there and I finally decided to fish right there fish up the lab data while standing next to Londo in the Black Lake in other words you have to be pretty much that close okay and there's another quest item so we're gonna fish, throw it in there, and I'm not gonna auto fish.
there's one at work or in that. What was my amount there? Twenty three. So that means it's somewhere around what? Well, if I went way down to the bottom and I clicked on it. Okay, so it's not there. Maybe there? No, oh, that's 28. That must be mine. Okay, so that's my pre-order. That's not bad. I think I'll leave it there. People are trying to force it back up from the looks of it. Especially that guy. <clears throat> uh, and if you're... A, I guess I could show you that. If you're a new player. To give you a conception on... You see it's been declining. It's going down. But you can see at some point here it was at 988. I think that says... So it was virtually double of what it is, and then it dropped way down, and it dropped way down, and it's just the way Central Market is. Um, if you look at uh, armor, um, any armor, I'll pick, you know, there's my stuff, but Dim Tree armor uh, literally crashed because of the Magnus abyss one or abyss one the magnus and everybody getting free pen armor this thing just crashed that's unfortunate for the value of what people play the game so and as a new player if that happened to you you would get frustrated and quit and not play the game anymore So you got your stuff. <coughs> now you're coming to the worst part in the entire quest line for new player experience. This is absolutely, positively the worst thing you could do to a new player. I came into this game and everybody told me it was a great game for doing life skills. So I want to be a life skiller, okay? I don't want to do any form of combat once I'm done with this quest line, okay? And now I can't complete the quest line without going over 50. And to be a really good life skiller, you got to stay under 50. You really do. So, uh, I quit the game, and I'm not going to play it anymore as a new player. Yeah, I'm uh, done with it. On the surface, have uh, you got everybody that told me about this I game mean, lied to me. It's not a good game for life skills. I won't humans. Because you have to do combat. You absolutely positively have to do combat because the quest line's there you you can't continue anymore here game's over for you yeah. jump out of it go to your programs and delete it and don't ever play it again that's what the new player experience is all about not being able to be a level 49 life skiller. It's really sad, you know. It really is. We finally arrived. So we're at three hours and two minutes, and there is barely 
15 minutes worth of questing to do here. Uh, one boss battle. In which you will fight the wolf first. And then the boss himself will be easy to kill. So... So don't worry about getting knocked down or anything like that. Just concentrate on the wolves and let your buddy here help you out. By the way, there are daily quests here that if you take them, you'll get instant slaughtered. So, as a new player, you definitely want to accept them, uh, and that way your frustration will be even worse, and you will quit the game and delete it and never play it again. My love, but my six, I will forgive you for bringing about my death. These appear to be the words of the So, like I said, yeah. concentrated effort on the wolf. Uh, he's going to knock you down no matter what. Make sure that they have spawned in. Okay. Okay, now he's dead. This guy will be a lot easier to kill. He might get knocked down once or twice. Oh, he recharged. Oh, that was cool. I've never seen him do that. Pretty much useless. He can't do much to you. I wonder. Even if you're a low what level player. Beyond these doors? <sighs> so basically, the storyline's complete. Uh, I'm skipping through all of these because if you're a new player, you really do want to watch them play it if you've continued in the game this far um, and I will tell you the name the game is a really good game I played it for many years now um, and I've learned to accept the evolution of the game uh, and the direction they've headed it in uh, the whole point of this video was to point out Like any other game, the new player experience is really important, and it needs to be really simple, and so you don't you don't get people getting frustrated and trying to do stuff that they're not equipped or prepared for or even want to do. So that's really the point of it. They can make it better. Uh, and maybe, maybe somebody will watch this and if one thing gets improved, um, I'll be happy. But I've tried to be really critical and really sarcastic uh, in looking at it from a new player perspective. Believe me, I truly love playing this game. And this is my 20 some odd time of doing this quest line. And after doing it that many times, you really do see 
all the things they could do to make it better. Um, you know, believe me, doing all of these side quests in the specific order that I set them up in uh, took a lot of gameplay. A lot of going through here and figuring out, well, you need to do this before you do this and that. Um, it's a great game. And if you've made it this far, uh, I really, really, really encourage you to continue playing and seek out videos on YouTube on how to do things. There's a lot of great stuff out there uh, that will help you. I mean, it even helps me as a veteran. Um, yeah, they update this game once a week. So everything is continually evolving and improving, and you should watch watch the updates, watch the videos on the updates, um, and don't get overwhelmed. Decide what you want to do, how you want to play it your way, and do that, and, and you'll evolve with the game I have. And you'll go in the direction you want to go, like I have. Um, and it'll be a good experience for you. It really will. It teaches you a lot of stuff. It really does. I mean, it teaches you time management. It teaches you um, I'm efficiency of action. It teaches you about supply and demand. Um, uh, 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 there's so many things that that you can benefit and learn from as a young person or as an old person. So uh, my hats They're off here, to my the chief. creators for what they've done with this game. Um, and you call my final bitch is there's one more quest hidden away. So that finishes it? No it does not because you have one more quest to do which will be 513 instead of 512 and that's to do this quest now it is complete <coughs> so wait for it to come up there it is 26, 513. I hope you've learned something from this video and I hope you have not necessarily enjoyed it, but understand it from my perspective. And I will bring this up to show you this number and to show you that I have, we have completed 142 quests. Oh, we've completed 240, what? See ya. <laughs>